Okay, yes. One important. Okay, yes. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, yes. Hello, guys, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'll show you how you can draw interactive from Jurassic World: Fallen Kingdom. Parts of the video are going to be at two times speed, so do pause the video if you can't catch up. Let's begin. The link to the reference image that I'm using here is there in the description, so check it out if you want to. I'm using a 2B drawing pencil. You can use any pencil, just draw lightly. Here I use shapes and lines to get a rough structure of the Indoraptor head. It's not very accurate, I just use the first stage to do approximations. It helps me get better proportions later in the drawing. Indoraptor's head is very similar to that of a T-Rex, so try aiming for that. I use the end of the other arm, I use the base of the other arm as the baseline of my whole drawing. That means that no part of my drawing is going past that point. As you can see this actually helped me correct the hind limb that I was drawing because I actually made it too long than it's supposed to be. Also, I wasn't able to fit the tail in the sheet, so I had to change the position of the tail. This is why the first stage is important. The first stage helps you compose your drawing properly in a sheet of paper. The first stage was the most important stage. If you get this right, you're probably going to get good proportions. The second stage, we refine it further by adding a hard outline to the drawing. I'm using a black ball pen for this. You can use any black ball pen or even a pencil. I'm using a black ball pen because in the Raptor is black and also I don't want to sharp my pencil again and again for this drawing. I'll suggest you don't use a gel pen because you'll get thick lines of same density. Use ball pens if you can. Notice that I didn't draw the teeth right away. I'd suggest you draw them later because that area requires proper focus and tension. Okay, yes, one important point. When you are drawing, focus on negative areas also. Here, the white area surrounding the interrupter is the negative area. Make sure your negative area is similar to the negative area in the reference image. That's how you can get more accurate drawings.
Now I'll start with shading. Again I'm using black ball pen. You can use a pencil if you want to and comment below how was your experience drawing this with a pencil if you do use a pencil. I start with drawing details and shading the dark parts first. That's how I go around with my drawings. If you don't know where to start just, just start anywhere. Endoraptor has those indominus rex teeth, so try to make them like that. Also check out my video on how to draw indominus rex. It's a very easy tutorial and I'm sure you will like it and you will be able to follow it. I'm using a combination of different hatching techniques for shading. In hatching, instead of rubbing the pencil again and again to get shades, different shades, what you're supposed to do is draw lines in one direction. Then to make it darker, you hatch lines in a different direction on top of it. The overlay makes it appear darker. That's how you get dark areas using hatching. And for lighter areas, don't overlay, don't overlay too much with lines. I leave the white areas for the golden pattern that runs across the artist's body. I darken the area around this to make this pattern pop out. If you are not getting the shading right, just experiment around. Go back to the area that you feel needs a little more attention. In this part of the video, you can see that I hatch lines in one direction, then draw some other lines in them. That's the same technique that I'm using throughout the drawing. Here also, I draw a bunch of lines first, then I draw on them and around them to give that dark and light effect.
If you have a dark area and a light area, you made an area too dark and the other area too light and you want them to blend in, just start just start shading in the separation between them. This will help you to get a smooth gradient.
Indoraptor has some shiny black plates on its back. The plates are quite similar to that of an Ankylosaurus. So to make them shiny, you can follow the way that I use contrast with the black pen and the white page. Indoraptor has a lot of osteoderms running from its head to its tail and some spikes on its head and back. So we are nearly done with this. I go back to the places that I feel need more work like the face. The face of a creature is very important to its identity. Like a Sukumimus can be identified by its crocodile like face. A Tyrannosaurus can be identified by its bulky face which has lots of muscle to give it a huge bite force. Similarly for the interrupter you have to make the face right. Okay, this is something extra you're not supposed to do it if you don't want to i use a white sakura gel pen to make the white area stand out like the teeth the eyes and the shiny black plates the white pen might not work very well on pencil drawings so yeah after this i decided that i should color the golden pattern that runs across its body I used a yellow brush pen for that, you can use any color and I used the orange one to give it a little darker look. That's it. That's your interrupter right there. I just like to draw and I encourage you all to draw. Please like, subscribe and comment below and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.